Hi, my name is Georgi Radulov and uh, here a common source amplifier is given with a cascode for high gain. So the amplifying transistor is M1 and the cascode transistor is M2. We have also here biasing circuit RB1 and RB2 form a resistive um, voltage divider to bias the gate of uh, the amplifying transistor M1. The signal is um, provided via decoupling capacitor C in here. So this is extremely large and uh, it decouples only uh, DC but for AC signals uh, it can be considered as short. So basically v, uh, the node V in is connected directly here to the gate of the amplifying transistor M1. So uh, M2 uh, is a cascode, it buffers the amplifying transistor M1 from the output V out and increases very much the resistance seen from V out to the ground. So uh, the resistance is increased by a factor of GM2 air out to um, about. Then uh, the operation is that uh, we have a signal here that modulates uh, the current through the GM1 of the amplifying transistor. This current uh, is terminated at the output uh, node V out and is transformed to voltage by the resistance level of this node at V out. The resistance le uh, level is uh, we have very high resistance to ground and uh, a load R load, which are both in parallel. So R load will dominate as uh, uh, usually the small, so the uh, gain will be about uh, GMR. Uh, uh. But uh, let's see now uh, the assignment because uh, there are also specific values. So the value of uh, uh, the load uh, resistor is given 11 ohms. So M1 is with GM1 equal to 3 millisiemens and M2 has GM2 GM2 equal to 1 millisiemens Alright Well, R R01 and R out 2 are extremely large so we can ignore the channel length modulation effect this means that the intrinsic gain GM2 R out 2 of M2 will be extremely large. So this resistance from V out to ground will be extremely large. So the effective resistance at the output will be dominated by the 11 kilo ohm load uh, resistor. So uh, the biasing uh, resistors are appropriately designed so that both M1 and M2 are in saturation. C in is extremely large. So this, this is a clue that if C in is um, very large, then the impedance that we have of C in is 1 over G omega. And then here we have C in, which is infinity. That means that for omega, uh, for frequency that are zero, uh, we will have, uh, of course, uh, Z uh, very large infinity. But then for frequencies which are not zero, because C in is then uh, um, very large, then Z will be uh, Z will be uh, very small, so around zero. So this means short here. So this is a standard basic. The question is, what is the small signal gain V out V in? Please round your okay. So then, as I said, we have delta V in the signal here, and then it is transformed by the transistor M one. It's GM. It is transformed to delta i equal to gm1 delta v in and then it is transformed into voltage in this node by the resistance level the resistance level at this node is a very large resistance here in parallel with our load so the dominant will be our load which means that the uh, the voltage that i will have at the output with taking into account the inversion of, co uh, of uh, common source amplifier will be minus then the current uh, delta i times r equivalent at the output which is r load which will be then minus uh, gm1 r 
load v in. The gain will be v out divided by v in. We want the absolute value of the gain will be gm1 r load. gm1 is uh, 3, 11, 33 is the answer. So now we'll consider a small variation of this uh, problem with other random numbers, just that I got them like this. Now in this case uh, our load is 17 kilo ohm and uh, GM1 GM1 is uh, given 3 millisiemens and air out. Now, air out is given, so this is this air out one is given to be 20 kilo ohm. So now we cannot assume it to be infinite. And GM2 is also given to be uh, 2 millisiemens. And the rest is, uh, is the same. So now, there is a difference. We are given the channel length modulation of M1. So what will happen is that we have this signal here, delta V, and say this note is Vs. And it will generate here the current, delta I, and part of the current will leak through air out one. So at the output, we will not have um, a GMRL, but we will have something else. What is this else? We can uh, uh, find out by drawing the small signal equivalent uh, model of this circuit. Now in small signal, um, we start with the most important component, which is uh, M1. We draw it with uh, its voltage dependent current source. So this is the source, it goes to ground, and its value is GM1, VGS1, and what VGS1 is, V in, small signal. Now, uh, in small signal, this will be short, this will be ground, and also this will be ground. We can ignore these uh, uh, resistors because they are for, for biasing and they do not influence then this note, since C in is large decoupling capacitor and uh, it um, uh, it connects directly uh, the V in, v in node to the gate. Now we have in parallel, here is the drain, this is this node, and in parallel is R out 1. So I have to draw R1 1, R out 1 to ground. Okay. And this node is Vs, so this is this node. Here I have the source of M2. So M2 I'll draw again with its um, voltage dependent current source with a value of uh, uh, Gm, Gm2, uh, it's Vgs, Vgs2, Vgate, here I don't have a signal component so it is ground zero and uh, V gate minus Vs so this will be then minus Vs now um, there is a body effect but uh, the assignment says nothing about body effect so I ignore the body effect and I will not consider it otherwise it will be a parallel current source here then this is the node V out so this is the drain. From here to VDD, I have the load resistor, which is 17 kilo ohm. Uh, VDD is small signal ground. So there is no signal component there. So I have to draw then this resistor air load to ground. All right. So I have now two nodes, this node and this node. And I my goal is to express V out and V in, in one equation. Two nodes will allow me to write Kirchhoff current load two times and 
then um, avoid vs so let's let's start here so this current is equal to this current plus this current so now let me write minus gn to vs is equal to vs divided by r out one plus uh, gm one v in so from here i should be able to express uh, vs let's uh, let's write it down vs in the brackets it's minus gn2 minus 1 over r out 1 is equal to gn1 v in uh, vs is equal to gn1 v in divided by gn2 plus 1 over r out 1. All right. Now uh, I have vs and uh, I need another equation for v out. So I will write Kirchhoff current law for this node. So this would be uh, then, then uh, v out divided by r load minus gm to vs is equal to, to zero right so now i take this and i put it inside so i got v out divided by RL minus this minus and this minus is plus then I have GM2 GM1 V in uh, alright divided by GM2 plus 1 over r out 1 and this is equal to 0 so now let's see I'll write it here uh, what I have is uh, v out v in is minus gm1 r load and then 1 plus 1 gm2 r out 1. Now if we plug in the numbers that we are given, we have um, for gm13 times 17, so million kilo cancel each other, divided by 1 plus 1 divided by gm2 is uh, 2 times 20 kilo and milli cancel each other so this if calculated should be I have it here 49.75 There's something else. So you see here that if air out is extremely large, this becomes a zero, and uh, the answer will be like uh, in the previous uh, problem. So um, this is uh, for me this time. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. Bye bye.